Kia ora, boys and girls. I want to read to you a story today so called Come Over to My House. And this story is written by Eliza Hall and Eliza Hull, sorry, and Sally Rippon. It's kind of cool cover, isn't it? Come over to my house. So come over to my house. Come over and play. I'll show you around. You can stay the whole day. We'll swing on the swing set and splash in the pool. Then I'll race you inside where my bedroom is cool. Now, in each of these houses, there's something a little bit maybe different from your house. And in this one, you see the girl whose house is, she's got a wheelchair and she's walking with a walker frame. If I get hungry, I'll make us a treat. There are snacks in the pantry you're welcome to eat. There's so much to do, one thing then another. And if we get bored, we'll play with my brother. Pushing him around, going wild. Then we go to the next house. Come over to my house. The day after next, our doorbell will flash, You can, or you can just text. They live in an apartment, so the first house had a swimming pool in the backyard, and this place an apartment. Your mum can stay too, I'll teach her some sign. The writing things down will also be fine. So it's got hello, and um, thank you, and point yourself. I love you. We'll turn up the music and dance all around. Mum loves to dance too as she feels the sound. She lets me dress up in her favourite old dresses. As long as we pack up, she doesn't mind messes. Mum doesn't hear. Third house. Come over to my house. Come now and let's go. We'll have so much fun, but I need you to know that often we all like to run, jump and shout, but sometimes this playing can wear us all out. And here, Dad's home and he loves to run, jump and shout. We might need our headphones to block out the noise, to have some quiet and play with our toys. Sometimes my dad likes to play with us too, just wait till you see all the things we can do. Dad's got headphones on too. The next house. Come over to my house. You can bring your own book. We'll have a whole library. You're welcome to look. But mum's books are different to the ones you can read. She reads with her fingers at such a great speed. Our dog is called Sam. You can tickle her tummy, but not when she's working. She needs to help mummy. Sam walks with mum when she's out for the day, but when they get home, then Sam likes to play. So mummy can't see. She reads that stuff's called Braille, and they got dog, Sam, to help her. Next house. Come over to my house. We'll make you a snack. We'll eat in my cubby. It's hidden out back. My mummy can't fit, she's as tall as a tree, but daddy is almost the same size as me. Wow. There's dad. And that means our house has some things in pairs, like stools or stepladders and cushions on chairs. But dad's favourite thing, which he might let you try, is a super contraction to grab things up high. I think dad's an artist as well. Next house. Come over to my house. We'll have so much fun. We can play in my room or outside in the sun. My aunt is here too. She visits most days. She cleans while mum cooks and sometimes she stays. We all pack a nice big picnic and eat on the sand. Aunt Trudy will help us if we need a hand. But sometimes we like to do things on our own. Come visit us soon in our beautiful home. Sometimes adults need support from other adults. Next house. Come over to my house. My dad is the best. He's built me a tree house that's shaped like a nest. My dad is so strong he can build anything. He's built me a skate, a, a skate ramp and even a swing. And there's dad 
And you notice he's got one hand that's a little different. Dad jokes he's a pirate because he's got a hook. Plus one hand for building, another to cook. Sometimes he swaps one hand for another, but all are just fine. Tug me or my mother. Come over to our houses. Come over and play. If we're kind to each other, we'll have a great day. We can all do our best to include everyone, so games about our new friends will always be fun. The next time we meet up, what will we say? Come over to my house. Just come over and play. You know, families are all different. People are all different. Some people have physical differences that are easy to see, and other people have differences that aren't so easy to see. We're all different. But all of us can come over and play and enjoy each other and the hospitality that each house and family has. Blessings to you and this week.